Welcome to Fox Tech. Today, I'll help you troubleshoot why your iPhone might not be recognized by your computer. This can be pretty frustrating, especially if you need to transfer files or sync your device. Let's go through some steps to help fix this issue and get your iPhone connected. First, make sure you're using the right cable and that it's securely connected. Sometimes the cable can be the main issue, so try switching to a different one to rule out any problems with the connection. A simple cable swap could solve everything if the original one is faulty. Also, be sure your iPhone is unlocked and on the home screen when you connect it to your computer, as this is necessary for it to be recognized. When you plug in your iPhone, check for a prompt on the screen that asks if you trust the computer. You'll need to tap trust for your computer to access the iPhone. If you don't see this prompt, try reconnecting your device after restarting both the iPhone and the computer. This refreshes the connection and often clears minor issues. If you're using a Windows PC, make sure you have the latest version of iTunes installed. iTunes is essential for device recognition on Windows. So an outdated version might prevent your computer from detecting the iPhone. For Mac users, it's essential to keep macOS updated as recent updates improve device compatibility. In some cases, updating Finder or iTunes may also be necessary if you're on an older Mac OS version. For Windows users, there's an additional step you can try if you're still having trouble. Open Device Manager. Locate the Apple iPhone device. Right-click on it and select Update Driver. This may fix the connection if the issue is related to outdated drivers. Keeping drivers up to date can help your computer communicate better with your iPhone. If you've tried all these steps and nothing seems to work, try connecting your iPhone to a different computer. This can help you figure out if the problem is with your iPhone or your computer's settings. Thanks for watching. And if this video helped, don't forget to like and subscribe to Fox Tech for more tips and troubleshooting guides. See you later.